Hello, today we will create the steampunky purse from my old um, bag together with retro craft shop and um, mixed media uh, stuff. So we will need at start some scraps of leather, some cables, some glue and gel medium, some metal gears, you will find plenty of different gears in the retro craft shop and uh, I have this bag of different stuff as well, there are wires and some founts. My leather pieces were vivid yellow and I'm going for some vintage steampunky look so I'm distressing and changing this uh, vivid yellow for brownish tone with deco art fluid acrylic paint and I want whole piece to have this nice you know vintage feeling so there will be lots of black shadowing and uh, back and forward with some acrylic colors except leather in steampunk style we need some metal looks so with the 30 knots metallic paint I'm changing the color of all the pieces that are not leather that means this big window part and my cables and wire uh, I'm just painting everything with 30 knots metallic paint in shade old gold The center of my bag is altered old clock with uh, some gears and uh, clock face and some propeller. So to create that I'm just cutting the piece of leather in exactly uh, the same size as my clock piece and I'm just assembling some composition from gears and gluing all together. I'm using very strong glue that is made to glue wood, leather and pretty really hard materials and big pieces of leather. I'm gluing with uh, this glue mixed with gel medium and this mix actually holds very well. I'm using this bag and the elements are not uh, falling off. So I'm just gluing the compositions from gears and uh, the holes that I cut out in my leather. I also cut out the circle and that will be uh, surrounding my main element and I'm just gluing it all, you know, assembling whole piece uh, together. To add this really steampunky feeling, I added some uh, wires and uh, to make an illusion that it's whole one mechanical piece, I just made holes and secure my holes with propodile and with a -lets. and I think it looks really awesome and give, gave my bag, you know, this wow thing. Except the gluing stuff and securing the ends in eyelets, uh, I also secure my wire with pieces of leather and I add either eyelet or brad in any spot that I can uh, to, you know, secure everything and make sure that it will hold and I could use my bag afterwards.
assembling everything together and securing all eyelets and brads took me really long long time but I think that final effect is totally worth all the effort I put in this piece uh, to increase my textures and add this you know vintage distressed feeling I'm just using black gesso and the same acrylic paint that I used to change the color of my bag and I'm applying a lot and wiping all out the excess uh, you know trying to add a little bit shadows and uh, as the finishing touch I'm using Inca gold it works like wax I'm just applying a little bit with baby wipe yeah and that's it I'm done I'm really happy with the result I really like this work I hope you like it too leave me some comments and some feedback all the info and the links are in the description box and please subscribe to my channel and like my video and have a nice and creative day with retro craft bye bye